Hey guys, what's up? It's Dustin again today with another video. This time I have a little more energy. I just downed about two cups of coffee and a Code Red Mountain Dew. Splendid. Anyway, do you guys have a knife or uh, one of these pliers like this? This one's made by Stanley, but there are many other versions of uh, this type of plier. It's a multi-tool. It comes in handy. I recommend you going out and buying one. It has uh, several tools in it. It's really nice. Um, but I was wondering how to make a lanyard for this. Or just something simple and caring. And I was just brainstorming for a while. And I was thinking about this one. The one that was supposed to be adjustable but wasn't. Still looks nice though. And then I made this little one for this knife. It's pretty cute. You can have a carabiner on here easy and durable to carry around. Anyway, I was thinking about how to do this. You would have to have something that goes through here and then you don't want your knife opening up on you so you'd want something that loops around. And I came up with the perfect idea. You want to cut yourself about two and a half feet of one color and then you want to flatten it on one end just leave the other end around because you're not going to be doing anything special with it. If you have this type, this is most the, this design is mostly for this kind of knife. Keep that in mind. All right, now as you can see right here, that little tiny hole right there, you're going to put your paracord through there. And uh, this is going to be a pain in the butt, being that your paracord is kind of chubby, you know, kind of fat, and uh. So, what you need to do is open it up and pull your tools out to a kind of that type of position because it opens it up. Now that's the spring right there to keep them out or in and to apply pressure. You want to kind of get your stuff through there, which uh, it'll take me a minute because this is my first time doing this. But uh, you need to somehow get your paracord through there. And it's working itself through a little bit at a time. And uh, give me a minute while I go, or wait, no. Let me see if this knife will work. Alright. You just need something to kind of poke and prod it through there. The rest of the way. And there we go. All right, sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out. That way, uh, you know, get the ends about even meeting up. Then you can put your tools down and fold this knife back up again. All right. So now I have about five feet of another color. Don't need to flatten any ends on it. Just need to burn them. That way they don't unravel. All right. So, you're going to take this, and you're going to kind of go right here with it, see, and you're just going to leave it right there. Now, you don't want to start a tight cobra, you just want to start a cobra, believe me, because um, the last cobra that I did was too tight and ended up failing. And you might need a little bit of a workspace for this, believe me. And you just, you don't want nothing too tight, just something that'll hold. And it might be a little bit of a pain to get going at first, but once you get it started, it'll go. Let me turn this camera real quick. And I remind you guys, don't make it tight. Just make it snug. Snug is the best thing. Just a little snug. And if you need to, you can just unravel that right now and open it up. If it'll work better that way. It does for me. And you just want to do this uh, Cobra till you run out of cord. Uh, 
this little bit of black cord that I have. You guys can make it any color. I like uh, the black and yellow combination because it looks industrial or whatever you want to call it. Looks like the colors you'd see at a construction site. Sorry. Had an alarm go off on me right there. Um, so, you want to keep it going. Um, you want it to be about that long. So we're going to do a couple more uh, Solomon knots here. And I'm going to show you how to follow through with the rest of it. Alright guys, while I'm doing this, I want to recommend a channel to you. Um, it would be awesome if you guys could go over and check out my friend, uh, Board Paracord. He's got an awesome channel, great videos, really good quality videos at that. And, uh, he's just all in all really good at what he does. And, uh, it's pretty cool to be able to know him. And, uh, I mean, he's got designs that you couldn't think of, uh, so we're going to stop about right there. We don't want to make it tight. What we're going to do is we're going to just kind of leave it loose. Grab your lighter and your uh, scissors. And you want to cut away from it just a little bit. So hold on. Let me get down to a better position here so I can relax a minute. All right, you guys don't want to cut too close to it. Probably about that far away. And you want to burn it. And you want it to melt really good. You just want to smash it down and kind of drag it across your... Uh, your black right there. That way it sticks and holds. That's the uh, it's the whole idea of it. You want it to stick and hold. Do the same thing with the other end here. Don't cut it too close. Just right there. And you want to burn it. And hold on. Got to get it kind of tilted right there. Don't let it catch on fire and just kind of smear it over your other strand right there. And that'll keep it from uh, falling apart. Okay. So now, take your knife and close it. And uh, basically what this is for is so you can kind of do that with it. See? The yellow right there. And if you need to, just pull it a little bit. So, you want to go up to about right here. Let me uh, stand up again so I can make sure I'm in view of the camera. This is about an inch and a half long. You want to go up about another inch and a half. And you want to start doing a, uh, well, if you want a lanyard for it. All right, hold on. Just go up actually about six inches. Sorry. This is my first time actually making this, so I wasn't sure as to the uh, design that I needed to use. And you want to start your cobra. Now this cobra you do want to do tight. You do want to make it tight. Um, and just for the simple fact of uh, the string doesn't need to go through it. So we're going to do a simple cobra, making sure that it's tight. And we want to do the cobra for about, oh, I don't know, two, about two or three inches. Just enough that you can still place your hand through it. See? And uh, you can pull that tight, and it don't it won't come apart, so... Just keep doing the cobra here. Make sure that it's kind of 
There we go. All right, now, if you guys want to add a little something extra to make it look cool, I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Just uh, getting a little ahead of myself every once in a while. All right, so it's about maximum size for my wrist. That's uh, it's as far as I'm going to go because I have a big wrist. But you see what we're getting at. All right, now, I'll be right back. Just hold on a second. I'm going to grab an extra, let's say, 10 inches. No, I don't need 10 inches. Um, I'd say about 6 inches. All right, 6 inches of paracord. And probably the same color that you just got done using would be the best idea. And uh, what you want to do. Just come through and loop it through here. So, see what I did? Loop it through. And then, do you know, uh, if you guys know how to start, or how to take paracord and put it together, if you don't, check out uh, Sean's channel. He'll have it. He definitely has it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it, basically, but just showing you how to do it really quickly. I'm going to burn both ends, get them really nice and melted, really good and melted. Fire is not necessary, but it happens, and you want to kind of mend these together. Wait till it cools down a little bit, and then kind of use your fingers and mash it together. It, it, it'll be hot, but... uh. You know. All right. Now, where you want the melted ends is right about there. See, right about here on the side. And you're going to take your cobra, and you're going to go back over to make a king cobra. All right. Hope you guys are still with me on this video. Because if not, I apologize. I'm not good at instructions. Probably hand this video out to Sean and tell him to do something with it. Ah, messed up. So, yeah, right about there. Come over. I apologize for the uh, video uh, instructions if they're not good quality. I do apologize because I'm not good with uh, teaching on video. So you just you just want to do a pretty decently tight cobra up, and it's going to be a pretty good handle to it too. And the reason I'm adding this loop here is for a carabiner or something like that or if you want to hang it up on your wall you know it doesn't need to be added it's not necessary but it's just something there you know sorry didn't mean to hit the camera Now to really make sure that the black is no show, because I like no show stuff um, on my bracelets, because or on my stuff. I don't like uh, people to see what I've done. All right, where am I? At? All right, there. And you want to go back over again with another cobra. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving, so I gotta keep moving the camera. You want to make. 
make sure it's tight. Whenever I make something tight, I really do make it tight to the point where it cannot be undone. And uh, from the Super Cobra is what I'm going to call it, you want to just keep going down until you get past the black. This will be the last one. Now Mike's a nice little thing right there. All right, now for this one, you don't need to really cut it away from the thing. Just cut it up close, burn it, and uh, push it in like Sean does on his videos. Yeah. like so and push the camera down because I'm out of frame again just push it down alright so that does that now you guys to make sure this doesn't go down the whole way just take it out like that see how far it is and you don't want it to go much further than that so go ahead and uh, well guess not that's not gonna happen I was gonna say uh, put a knot on it but I don't really think you need a knot because that uh, that big thing ain't slipping through anytime soon you know but uh, make something nice for the something nice for the knife when you go to close it just put that over hold your black and just do that and it, it'll hold and it'll stay and it doesn't clink anymore and you can uh, have it around your arm uh, like so uh, like so and uh I'm going to come back with a video here later on once I find something because I'm going to show you how to make a loop that goes around your belt using paracord for something that you would need that type of application for paracord for. Um, but other than that guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. I need the attention. I need a little bit of publicity. Um, I just need a... Uh, some people to like my videos and subscribe to me and stuff like that because, well, you know, that type of thing happens on YouTube. And uh, that's not coming off. So, later guys. Appreciate it.